Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and friends, it's time to add an engine to our jet. So let's get cracking. So my friends, I created a jet engine that you can create in Tinkercad code blocks. If you haven't done that already, there will be a link above. If you do have that already, let's find our jet and start building. So I'm starting to get enough designs that I'm gonna type jet and press enter. Now I never wanna wreck my jet. So I'm gonna click duplicate and then the copy launches and boom, our jet will appear. I've got the one with the notes. If you don't have the notes, that's fine. I like the notes because once again, they let me check the parts. Now friends, what we're adding today is the jet engine. If you did this project before, once again, that link will be up above. If you go to your shapes collection, that jet engine will be right there for you to bring into your project. Mine has just arrived. Remember you bring it out and drop it in place. And then I'm gonna have to lift everything up for that to fit anymore. So I'm gonna hide this real quick, grab everything else, and I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. Now when I hit show all, I can see my engine and I'm gonna nudge it into place. Remember if I want to change the size of it, I can hold down shift and shrink it or grow it. I like it the way it was though. I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. I'm gonna use control up to raise it and attach it. You can have more than one engine on each side. I am flexible. I'm gonna switch my grid to five and do control D and use the arrow keys to move it across. And then I'm gonna hold down shift and click on those two engines and I'm going to make them a group. Remember if you do change the colors of those engines, it does the entire part. So if for some reason you wanted a different color jet engine, you'll have to go back into code blocks and recreate it. Notice after a while they all turn one color. I don't want that. So I'm gonna do undo and back that up so I've got my old multicolor because I think it's cooler. All right, friends, the last thing I'm gonna do is click on my engines that I made a pair. I'm gonna hold shift and click on the fuselage. So note it says two shapes. And when I click the fuselage, I can choose a line and boom, my engines are perfectly where they're supposed to be. That's how easy it is to add engines to our sweet jet airliner. Friends, let's quickly make the notes invisible, grab our sweet aircraft, lift it way up in the air, choose fit view so we can zoom in, click somewhere else so it's not selected, and get a high quality screenshot of that sweet jet aircraft. Remember, all you have to do is hit send to, and boom, it will save that. Once again, always pick your downloads as the place where you're gonna put it. And friends, just like that, we've got an airliner with engines. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.